I was a very healthy, active, 40-year-old mother of two and wife, full-time working mom. Um, I had done six triathlons over the summer, and I was training for the Rock and Roll Marathon and had just run 12 miles that Saturday. And Monday, I got a call that I had an abnormal mammogram. Ten days later, I was in chemo. I was diagnosed with stage 3C invasive ductile carcinoma. Well, I couldn't believe it. It, it was like a bad dream. This can't be happening to me. They had to have made a mistake. I'm young. I'm healthy. I've always been healthy. You feel like, what's my life expectancy? What's my quality of life going to be like? For me, it was the biggest fear. I really could handle what was going on with me. It was, I was more scared for my children. For us, what worked well was just always being upfront and honest with them. And as long as they knew what was going on, they were okay and they could do it. I couldn't have asked for better doctors and better nurses. I would joke and say that the nurses were my BFFs, especially when I had my mastectomy. I mean, you just, I was on the phone for the first week, probably every day with the nurse, asking questions, trying to figure out how I was supposed to care for, care for myself. And so I was very blessed with a very good team of doctors. Well, I'm very thankful to the Rampage organizations for their Pink in the Rink. It just shows that other people care about us survivors and our family and they understand and empathize with what we've been through and I know they're just trying to give back and help in any way that they can. And so it's exciting and as a survivor, these things are very important to us and our families because it's something fun that we can celebrate. You know, while you're in treatment, it's difficult. It's not always fun. You, you know, you don't always feel good. And, and so when you have things like this, to look forward to for you and your whole family it's it just it's the good side of it all and it's exciting and fun and I know um, I plan on being there and I'm a member of a support group called the BFFs and we have a large group of 50 of us survivors going to the game so it's very very exciting and we're really looking forward to just having a good time and celebrating life because that's what it's all about and I'm just thankful to the Rampage organization for giving us the opportunity to do that, to celebrate life, celebrate our